How's it going everyone? Welcome back for another rip. I'm gonna do a box of Heritage High Number 2023. Now this was a set that I was kind of on the fence on. I think all the good rookies or most of them came out in the base Heritage set. And those boxes are about this price. So um, honestly, High Heritage is not too exciting of a rip in my opinion. We are guaranteed one relic or autograph and even the autographs don't come out very often. Although when you do get an autograph, my experience has been, it's a good one, it's on card. Often it can be a good Hall of Famer. Um, I've pulled a Reggie Jackson autograph out of here. 2022, uh, nice Burt Blylevin autograph as well. Uh, JT Romuto, 2022. So you can get some good autographs out of here. But the price has to be right on these boxes. I think there's a lot of great values in the hobby right now. I decided to pick up two boxes of this stuff. $70 for this box at my LCS. That price seemed right. I would say if these boxes got even a little cheaper, I'd still be on the fence on it. But let's do a box. We're hoping for hot box refractors where we get one hot box refractor per pack. That would make it a better value proposition. Um, otherwise, I'm hoping to, to finish this set. I haven't looked at the checklist, and hopefully there'll be a few surprises in here. A few interesting rookies as well. So, all right, let's do a box of Heritage High Number. Now, I could be wrong with my assumptions. Um, as I said, I haven't looked at the checklist, so let's hope that this box provides some surprises. There are a lot of packs in here. Cool Dusty Baker, awesome card. Wonder who else is on this checklist. Great throwback right there. I'll probably drop a few more videos on Heritage. I've got one with hot box refractors from 2019. And uh, all right, here we go. Let's go ahead and start. Take our look at the Heritage high number. I'm hoping the checklist is better than I expected. Um, that would be, that would make this box a little better in my opinion. But um, let's see. Kind of going into this one blind. Oviedo, a Brian Raccio rookie card. Orlando Arcia, he ended up being quite the surprise. He is a all-star this season. A Rojas, Miguel Rojas. Nice Masataka Yoshida rookie performer. So I think there might be some cool inserts in here. That's a really nice one. I like the retro late 60s, early 70s look. Cole Reagans, Brian Anderson, Trey Turner. And a Jake Cave. That's a pretty good one, Trey Turner. Not bad. I think there's a lot of packs in here, so we at least we'll get a, a good number of cards. And at this price, not too bad. If that's 24, that would be a little under $3 a pack. Not bad at all. Lindgren, Brent Hedrick, Tyler Wells, Jose Abreu, Tony Olivia, 74 highlights. The inserts are quite nice this year compared to previous years. Do like that. Uh, Taylor Motter, Dylan Dodd, Blake Perrins, Luis Castillo. I like the 74 design. I get them confused. I'm not a vintage expert. Um, definitely would like to pick up some vintage cards, but haven't gotten around to it. Just waiting for the right time. Jankowski. There's a good Jacob deGrom. Uh, Woodford. Correa. All the sideways cards here. <laughs> there's a cool Rod Carew. 364 batting average and 74. Wow. That's great. Taj Bradley, Adam Duvall, Sebi Zavala, Jesse Schulten. See, I don't recognize a whole lot of these players. <laughs> That's kind of how high number goes, though, with this set. Hopefully there will be a few cards in here in the base set that are going to be um, worth pulling here. Edward Cabrera, Kevin Kelly... Brent Doyle, David Dahl, Lorenzen, David Bednar, David Peterson, Matt McLean, rookie, and Luis Arias. Yeah, pretty close to 400 this season. I think he finished somewhere around 360. What a great year. All right, next pack. Yeah, a lot of packs in here at least. If there's 24 packs in this box, then we should, getting, we should be getting like 200, over 200 cards in the box. Will Benson, Vince Velasquez, Shintaro Fujinami, Lucas Giolito, and Buck Showalter. What a great managers. Buck Showalter. It's a cool Justin Verlander. He'll be a Hall of Famer. Jose Arenas, Xander Bogertz. 
a Padres jersey. Kevin Newman. If you hit a hot box, though, it looks like if we get a good number of hot box refractors, you might get, um, you know, one of these better players. But here we go. Daza, Lugo, Siri, Shoemake, Miley, Peralta, Rogers, Matthias, Reese McGuire. Kind of rolling through this box here. Uh, Brandon Marsh, Drew Maggie, Gregory Soto, Matt Mervis rookie card. There's one that was not in the regular high number or the regular heritage release. Corey Lee, Brent Rooker, So Garcia, Mark Canna, Tommy Pham. Uh, 70 bucks for a hobby box I think is pretty good for these days. We're not going back to 2019 prices. And you have to account for inflation over those years. Um, 2019 prices, $60 for a box, something like that. Not too bad. Englert, Zach Nito, rookie card. There's another one. Didn't make it into the regular Heritage release. Tim Heron, Levi Stout, Higashioka, McKenna, Sosa, Romano, Juan Then. That's an interesting name. <laughs> okay. All right, a pretty big stack of cards. Um, yeah, let's see. Hopefully we'll hit an autograph. That's my hope. Tanner Hawk. Ethan Small, Mount Castle, Medina. There's a rookie performers. Joey Weimer. Don't think I recall many of his rookie cards. But there's one. Vargas rookie card. There's another one. Pretty decent one. McKinley Moore, Camila Duvall, and Mike Moustakis. All right. Oh, yeah, we're about halfway through the box. Escobar, Yuri Perez, Braxton Garrett. It's a nice Max Scherzer sideways. I like that. Pretty cool. There's a Spencer Strider, 16 Ks. It's awesome. Great one. He's he's become quite a good pitcher. Lopez, Brito, Eduardo Julian. This is another pretty decent rookie. Okay, Jordan Walker's in this set. That's pretty cool as well. So yeah, there are I guess there will be a few decent rookies in here. Jordan Walker. It's a pretty good one. Um, Cody Bolton, Kiermaier, Casey Schmidt, another low-key rookie there. Chavez, Fairchild, Kiebert Ruiz, David Robertson, Ryan Weathers, Tristan Cassis. There's another pretty good rookie. Okay, so this, this set's not as bad as I thought. It's somewhere in between Series 2.5 and, and Update. <laughs> Half of the rookies from Series 2 seem to be in this set, so... A checklist is a little better than I thought. Frazier, Maya, Lance Lynn, Grossman, Ildemaro Vargas, Mauricio Dubon, Corey Jolks, uh, Tom Cosgrove. You'll need to go back later on. There might be an action image variation, image variation, action. Uh, there's some other interesting ones. There could be a color swap. Uh, there are photo variations. But that usually will come later. If I find any of those, I might go during the recap and look at those. Maybe there's 20 packs in here. I'm not sure. Uh, ripped quite a bit already. Alex Cobb, Carpenter. Okay, Josh Young. The rookie checklist is better than I thought. I thought some of these guys were mostly in the Beast Heritage set. But Josh Young, not bad. Trevor Larnick. Yeah, Hank Aaron card. That's awesome. The Hammer. I know he's had a couple sets like this in previous years of Heritage. That's cool. Nick Fortes, Candelario, Rosario, Jake Berger. We'll hit a Refractor too as well. Those are a couple of the other variations. Okay, here's our patch, I think. Guriel, Yiner, Cano, Grayson Rodriguez, Will Smith. Okay, not a bad one. Will Smith game used memorabilia. Congratulations, not from any specific event, game, or season. That's pretty cool. Nice little Will Smith swatch there as our hit. JD Davis, Kodai Senga. There's another pretty good rookie 200 strikeouts for this season. Uh, Romy Gonzalez, Conforto. So we won't be getting an autograph out of this box. Um, let's see if we get a refractor, something like that. Scalfini, Coloss, another rookie there. Kenta Maeda, Salazar, 
Emmanuel Valdez Stowers, Adam Hasley, Chris Stratton, Devin Williams, Stone Garrett. Uh, he had a pretty good year before he got hurt. He's a bit of an older rookie, but another pretty decent rookie there too. Stone Garrett. Probably doesn't, won't get a whole lot of hobby love, but he's putting up some pretty solid numbers from what I saw. So Whit Merrifield, Brandon Fat, pretty good rookie pitcher, I think. Victor Robles, Anthony Rendon, Runed Odor, Joey Ortiz. Taylor Walls, Miguel Amaya, Ryan Presley. Um, it looks boring, but there will be some short prints in here. We'll have to go back and look. And then any of the image variations, the photo variations, very, very difficult to spot. We probably won't catch it during the rip here. Montgomery, Ryan Noda, Michael Bush, upside down. Okay, there we go. That's some excitement there. <laughs> Joey Weimer. Maybe they put the short prints upside down. Thank goodness. They're very hard to spot otherwise. Christian Bethencourt, Jared Kelnick, Jared Schuster, Jose Caballero. And let's see what this upside down card is. Hope it's a big parallel. Uh, no, it's a sideways. Looks like an insert of some sort. Home run special. Hey, that's freaking awesome, actually. Roger Maris, Aaron Judge. Shout out. W Vogs 18 Rex Freestyle Riffs. That's a pretty baller card. I wonder why it's upside down. Okay, it's a 100. I think it's a short print from the base set. I'll have to look up this card. I don't know why it has a checklist number 100. That's pretty odd. That's really cool. Roger Maris, Aaron Judge, and the vintage stock. Cool retro card. Might be my favorite pull so far from the box. Continue. Still have about 10 more packs here. Santos, Gibson, Stevenson, Hernandez, Gray, Shane McClanahan, uh, Profar, Matt Vierling, Campusano. Very cool one. Roger Maris, Aaron Judge. Have not seen something like that. Uh, Dom Fletcher, Hobie Harris, Tristan Beck, Gus Varland. There's a cool one. Acuna, Riley. That's a short print. That's an insert. CC number seven. Cool insert. Bobby Miller. Oh, actually had a good year. He's a bit of an older rookie, but he had quite a good rookie season for the Dodgers. Trevor Rogers, Jose Cuas, Luis Garcia. Might be able to make the whole set out of the box. And there's a refractor. <laughs> okay, so finally. Um, hopefully it'll be one of the better names in this checklist here. Tanner Bibby, Thaddeus Ward, Mason Miller, Blake Sable, another good San Francisco Giants rookie, Donovan Solano, Peyton Battenfield, there's a Yoshida rookie card. Oh, come on, please, hopefully that'll be a Red Sox there. Zach Grinke, there's some pretty good names in the checklist, even some veterans. Let's see what our... our, our... Oh boy, okay, Boston first base, this is Tristan Cassis. And it is. Let's go. Tristan Cassis um, Refractor. These will be numbered to 499, I believe. This is actually a really good pull out here. <laughs> no, these are lumbered even lower. 244 of 374. What a great refractor, honestly. Um, the checklist on these 225, we might get one refractor or one chromey per box. That's actually a great pull. This might actually be a variation of some sort. Haven't seen the base cast as rookie, so let's keep on going and see if we pull one here. Um, yeah, not too bad. I'm having fun ripping this stuff. Um, here we go, Brent Sullivan, Nathan Lukes, Christian Vasquez, Joe Mantiply, Oscar Mercado, Andrew McCutcheon, Jose Barrios, TJ Fredo. Carlo Vargas. I'm not sure if, if I wanted Cassis or Yoshida more, but um, either one of them I think is a pretty good pull. Nice Tristan Cassis. He ended up with something like 20-something home runs. Um, and the Red Sox have a lot of up-and-coming players. They could be good in a couple years. All right, last three packs. Uh, Logan Allen, Brett Wisely, Ryan Jeffers, Bilotti, Brandon Williamson, Bryce Terang, Sean Manaya. AJ Puck, Kyle Isbell. 
Then we have our last two packs of the box here. Clayton Kershaw, nice. Jack Flaherty, Eovaldi. What a what a great postseason for this guy. Tucker Barnhart, Freddie Furman, Drew Rasmussen, Aroldis Chapman, Pablo Lopez, Yan Gomez. Our last pack. Last pack magic maybe. Estuary Ruiz. He ended up with something like 70 stolen bases. Juan Yepes, Arenado, Tyler Stevenson, Randy Vasquez, Master Boney, Jackie Bradley Jr. Okay, JJ Blade, another pretty decent rookie in here. And Andrew Heaney. All right, on to the recap. Let's talk about what we got out of this box. Um, giant pile of base cards here. I sorted it out. And um, no doubles, no doubles, which is good. But we are missing three cards from the complete set. Um, I think I'm missing, yeah, three cards only. Uh, this is a bit of a disappointment. If you're going to get that close to me putting in the whole set, you might as well make sure that the whole set in there is in there. So a bit of a fail by tops. On the other hand, we didn't receive any doubles. So you're going to get 99% of the set, which is... A little annoying, to, in my opinion. Um, eight short prints, so the, I think this set is 25 of the high number, anything over 700. Um, you, since you'll get eight, that means you're going to need at least four boxes to finish this stuff. Three boxes to give you 24, putting you one card short, assuming per perfect collation. So same with the high numbers, uh, you'll probably need to trade for these. On to the inserts. I like the inserts. These are cool. The rookie performers. I didn't look at the checklist, but I'm assuming more of the bigger names are on this set. Cool design here. Same with the 74 highlights. Two in the box. I like this set. Um, these inserts are very cool. Uh, definitely fit the heritage mold. Uh, the Hank Aaron set. The hammer focuses on Hank Aaron. Assuming some of the bigger home runs he had. Uh, now and Then. That is a set that has been in heritage for a while now. Uh, looks like there's another set with these duels. Austin Riley, Ron Lacuna. This is actually an insert. CC. I'm not sure what the set is called. Uh, this cool card, which was um, Roger Maris, Aaron Judge. Apparently, I think they forgot to insert this in the base heritage, which is something they've done in multiple recent years. And in order to finish your base set of heritage, you also need to purchase high number or you need to trade for this card, which is unfortunate. I recall them doing something like this in 2021. And that's just not cool <laughs> to do it again. Feels like it's not a, a mistake. Might be intentional. This Will Smith patch. This was our hit from the box. Um, yeah, pretty typical for Heritage. The boxes. I didn't look at the autograph odds, but they get worse and worse every year. They might be something like one in per five boxes, six boxes for an autograph. So Will Smith are hit. Actually, yeah, it's okay. And I guess our big hit from the box would be the Tristan Cassis Refractor. Uh, this seems to be an image variation. Looks different from the base card. And then, yeah, Refractor. What is this? 244 of 374. So pretty low number on these Refractors. And Cassis, honestly, one of the better rookies in the set. So, um, yeah, Heritage, I think one box would be good. And the price seems pretty decent. Uh, these boxes, I've seen them for $65, $70 seems to be the going price. And it uh, wasn't too terrible of a rip. You could get a decent autograph. And um, I'm just going to say there's not a whole lot of excitement in this. You, you kind of mostly want it for the base set. And, um, you know, anything extra, the cool cards that you hit are just kind of a bonus. So, hope you enjoyed the video. And as always, thanks for watching.